Hello friends, Sudhir from Coding Freaks. Today in this video, we'll see Hello World with JSF Java Server Faces. So prior to getting started, I just want to tell you that the environment which I have uh, in my system is I'm going to use Eclipse as an IDE, Maven as a build tool, JSF 2.x to be precise 2.1.7 and Apache 8.5 as a application server. So let's get started. In the Eclipse, in the Project Explorer, create a new project of type Maven. And in the wizard, type Maven so that it can filter out everything for you and you need not to search throughout this whole list. Select Maven project and click next. Leave everything to default and click next. Over here in the filter select web app so that we can again filter out the only archetype which we need in this project. Click next and then give it a group id and artifact id. In this case I am using org.cf as group id and uh, hello world's gsf as artifact id and leaving the version to default. Click finish. Depending on your internet speed this will take some time. And this will create a web based uh, project structure uh, which Maven follows. In this, the main thing which we are going to have is src and pom.xml. From the web app folder, for time being, let's delete index.jsp, which we do not require in this project. Now let us create a new folder which is a java folder in which we are going to keep all our code. So right click on the main and uh, create a new folder. Since we are giving it a name java so it will automatically be assigned to build path. If it is not assigned to build path, right click on the java folder, move on to build path and use as source folder. Since in this it is already in the build path so it is giving us an error. Let us add some dependencies which we require to get started with JSF. Open the pom.xml file. In that go to the source view of pom.xml file. Over there we have a JUnit dependency by default. Delete it because we are not going to write any test case in this demo application. We require two dependencies in this and the dependencies JSF API and JSF uh, IMPL implementation of the API. The group ID of dependencies com.sun.faces and the artifact ID is JSF-API and JSF IMPL and the version of both of these dependencies is 2.1.7. So just uh, type these two dependencies in the pom.xml file. And once you save the file, Maven will download these two dependencies and these dependencies can be seen in the libraries under the Maven dependencies node. Uh, now I have completed the typing and saved the file. Maven has already downloaded all these. So just want to show you that these are there under the Maven dependencies node. J JSF API and JSF IMPN with the version 2.1.7 is already there. Now let us create a managed pane, right click onto this uh, java folder in the, under the source. And give it a name hello world. And the package name as org.cf. In the source code of class over the class name write at the rate managed bean and at the rate session beans sorry is session scope
In this, we are going to define a variable of type string as name, and we are going to define getter and setter for these uh, this variable. See, to create getter and setter, if you are using Mac, you have to use Control Command Shift S, and from there you can select the uh, generate getter and setter, and this will show you this wizard. And from there, just check the member for which you want to create getter and setter. In this, I want not to use a setter, so I'm hard coding the return value in getter of this, and in this, we are changing the value in the getter. So, if since we are hard coding it, so we're not require the variable and the setter so uh, I'm going to delete these two only a getter will be uh, the method in this class so this this is how a uh, hello world dot java class which is our managed pin look like now let's create a JSF file for this just go to web app and create a new file hello dot xhtml In this, we need to define uh, the JSF in the HTML tags. So these, uh, if you can see in the HTML tag, it is there. We have initialized F as in JSF core and H as in JSF HTML. In this, we are going to define the head section, which is H colon head. In this, the title of this application will be hello world. Now let's create body h colon body. In this, we are just going to define a label which will fetch the data from the managed bin uh, as a name of that bin. In this h colon output text, and in this tag, we are going to use value as an attribute. Fetch the value from the managed bin. The syntax is pound. In the curly braces, name of the class dot name of the member. Our name of the variable which we need to uh, fetch. So this is our XHTML page. In this, we had coded uh, tags. In we have initialized JSF core and HTML. We have defined header. We have defined body. In the head, we have defined title. And in the body, we have fetched the value in a label. So now let's move to web.xml. In this, we are going to change display name of the application, which is hello JSF. And in the web app tag, we have to give certain schemas which, which are needed to get started with JSF. So we have to remove this upper uh, doc type in this XML file just so that we can get rid of the error which is shown in this. Now let us define welcome files which we require at the time of starting of our application as in home page of our application. So for that welcome file list and in, in the welcome file list tag welcome file name of the file uh, which is slash hello dot xhtml post this we are going to define mapping of jsf the servlet and its class name mapping will be doing and post that will be defining a few url pattern which this jsf application is going to handle so let's begin with the uh, servlet mapping 
which is in the tag servlet in this we are going to define servlet name in this case servlet name is servlet faces servlet And the servlet class is javax.faces.webapp.faces servlet. We are also going to define load on startup to one since we want this servlet to be initialized with our application. Now let us create a few URL patterns mapping to this servlet. In this we have mapped slash faces slash asterisk one second asterisk dot jsf third is asterisk dot faces and the fourth is asterisk dot html these four url patterns are mapped with that servlet which we defined in the servlet section so this is how the whole code of webx web.xml file looks like this whole code is available on the git repository and the link is given in the description below so you can just download it and import it into your uh, Eclipse and have references to it when you're practicing this word at the runtime. So we are done with the coding part now let's try to run this application just right click onto the name of the project and it uh, Select run as run on server. I have already configured Apache Tomcat 8.5, so this will directly going to run on to that. And this might take some time in uh, initialization depending on the hardware availability. So the moment it gets initialized, it will show you the web page in the in the IDE itself, and it is showing whatever content we have written in the hello.xhtml file. This is how we can start our learning with JSF. If you have any queries, please leave in the comment section below. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel for more upcoming videos on JSF. This is Sudhir. Thank you.